Strictly devotee or not, everyone must at least be aware of the ballroom bonanza that happens every year. More than 11 and a half million of us watch the final in December. Now contestants and professionals are rehearsing in Primrose Hill for this year's tour. I'm still on, on a bit of a come down, so the tour is going to be a bit like rehab, like weaning me off strictly. <laughs> Don't go cold turkey, no, go, on tour. Away. go on tour. <laughs> yeah. It replicates the format on TV, complete with the mean judge. I would just be myself. <laughs> My normal, kind, beautiful self. Naturally, darling. <laughs> Loving, nurturing, all-embracing self. He says the live show has extra sparkle. You're seeing the true glitz and glamour of those Swarovski crystals, darling, that are just, um, they're blinding, absolutely blinding in the space. You know, the television really doesn't do them justice, I can tell you. But there must be a reason, beyond a magpie attraction to glitter, that Strictly is now a decade old. Well, we do like to see friendships flower and endure. The pleasure of you dancing with me. Exactly. <laughs> I'll pay you. <laughs> <laughs> and a bit of underdog endeavour to lift the trophy. This is my opportunity now to, to, to you know, know the feeling of lifting it up in front of everybody. <gasps> That's what I'm hoping Deadly for. Ugly <laughs> I've got it. After touring the country, the Strictly Stars return to London in early February. Ballroom dancing, selling out both Wembley and the O2. You'd have thought it 10 years ago. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London News.